Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome to day 25 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Today we're going to switch it up a little bit, and we are going to start getting into the marketing sides of things, and we're going to show you how to create a neighborhood landing page. Neighborhood landing pages start off in Sketch House. So when you click on Sketch House, you're going to see two different categories, My Sketches and then the KW Sketch Library. My Sketches obviously already holding designs that you've created. And then the KW Sketch Library has templates that have already been created for you. So if you see this layout, this is an email template. And then of course, this layout is the Market Snap template. And that's what we're gonna start with. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that Market Snap template. And we're gonna do the very basics. We're not gonna get real creative right now. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like to create kind of a stock looking one. Um, later on, we'll play with some of the different things underneath layout, content, and widgets. But for right now, we're not going to make any changes. We're just going to click on Copy to My Sketches. And let's call this Neighborhood Landing Page Test. Let's choose a category. It's going to be a Market Snap style page. And we'll click on Confirm. And what that will do, we'll add that page to My Sketches. You can see now saved to My Sketches. So if we go back to Sketch House, it will now have Neighborhood Landing Page as one of my design library pieces. If I click on it, it's going to allow me to save and configure. So first, let's save it. Let's say we wanted to do a Neighborhood Landing Page for, um, I live in Fawn Lake, Pine Lakes is what the neighborhood is called. And let's just say it's a Neighborhood Landing Page. All right, so we'll confirm that. That's what the name's gonna be. And it'll pull that up. At the top here, I also wanna name it for the same name, so Fawn Lake, Pine Lakes, NLP. You can see it pulls in Keller Williams, my company logo, or my team logo, because that's already been updated. All of this information's updated in my marketing profile. So this is the branded header. Over here under widgets, if I click on the arrow, if I wanted to put some header text, I could. So I'm gonna say, your Fawn Lake, Pine Lakes neighborhood expert. If I click on apply changes, you'll see that that then shows up in the header. So that's what that looks like. Further down, you can see we can change the headshot. We might want to put a different background photo in there if we had something. We have all of our contact information, auto importing, but if you wanted to change any of that. And then of course your team logo is showing up if you have one there. Um, if you need to change anything, you can do so within that actual section of that widget. If we go to the next widget, it's the market snap. So if we click on that, we do want a, um, let's say it says micro market snap, but I'm not sure everyone knows what that would mean. So hyper local neighborhood listing info. Let's see, maybe we'll call it that. If we click on apply changes. Well, it looks like we gotta go all the way through. So we're gonna change the postal code. I live in 77493. And then I'm gonna check the neighborhood. We're gonna go down and we're gonna choose Fawn Lake, Pine Lakes. And for the filter, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on all. Once I click on apply changes here, it looks like it's not saving this header. Oh, here it is, hyperlocal neighborhood listing info down here at the bottom, right? So you can see that underneath market snap, it changed to pull in Pine Lakes, Fawn Lake and it gave me the information with regards to the market snap. So if I go back out of this widget, I can look at the local insight widget next. And these insights are insights that I have created for the area. I can also click on all insights and then see several other insights that are available in the area as well. So I definitely wanna include my insights. So let's do Chewy's Katie, the vet clinic, and then Ellison nearby. If I click on all sites, are there any others? Let's say I'll go ahead and throw in Mary Jo Peckham Park. If I go back up to the top, I can click on Apply Changes. And then you'll see now, if we scroll down a little bit, it starts having recommendations for those items down below. Even though this was not an insight, I did not create this insight. It doesn't actually show the agent that created it. So um, it's a nice way to be able to utilize um, other people's insights on your page there. So next, the last widget is the lead form. If I wanna change what it says, right now it just says down here, interested, let's talk. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that because I think that works fine. So I'm gonna come back up to the top. Now that I've created this neighborhood landing page, I've gone through and checked on each widget, changed those, made sure it's exactly how I want it. Um, first, I'm gonna click on save as draft and it'll say, are you sure? Say yes. 
Then it's going to show me all of the landing pages that have been created. So here is the Fawn Lake Pine Lakes one, right? I have not published it yet. You can see I was practicing earlier, um, but I'm going to come over to the ellipses. I'm going to say publish and it says, are you sure? And I'll say yes. And then it's going to give me the actual link for the website. If I click on that link, here's my landing page. So a custom website created just for Fawn Lake Pine Lakes with all of my information, a market snap and map. We've got some market insights down below, and then finally a lead capture form at the bottom. That's a basic neighborhood landing page. So today I'd love for you to go in and create your own landing page. We're gonna utilize that in the challenge tomorrow. So it's important today that you go ahead and create at least one of these landing pages um, so we can continue on with the challenge tomorrow. Guys, I hope you're having all great Saturday and a fantastic weekend. As always, I look forward to speaking with you tomorrow.